Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I am so happy you are here today. I am going to be sharing with you the first fall decorate with me video and I'm just so happy with how the entryway has turned out. It is has a beautiful pop of color and I'm sharing with you guys actually a couple different DIYs in the today's video and they're super easy and you guys will be able to redo your space on a budget. I love decorating for the different seasons and I, you will usually pull in a couple new things here and there and that is exactly what I've done so I can't wait to share with you a couple other things but first I'm going to finish cleaning up the space using my Jaws cleaner and then we'll get to doing a couple DIYs and decorating it. So when it comes to fall and Christmas, I really want to decorate with layers and one of those ways is to use blankets. And when I went into Joann's this last week, I found some beautiful fall blankets and this really inspired the color for the season for me. I actually thought I was gonna do more neutrals, but I am so in love with this rusty brown orange color here. It's not a bright orange at all. It has a little pattern on it. You'll see it up close here soon, but I'm making a couple pillows. The fabric was 40 or 60% off, I can't remember, but either way, I got the fabric for $10 and I made two pillows. So $5 a pillow is a score for me, I love it. And I'm just making a basic pocket pillow here. I have a full video on how to make that in more detail and a couple different ways that you can make them. So I'll have that link down below, but I'm just using my other pocket pillow as a template because I didn't really wanna get out my measuring tape and everything, but basically I'm just folding it over, just pinning this, that way I make sure everything stays in space place before I sew it. If you don't have a sewing machine, you could totally hot glue this or use a fabric fuse tape, fabric tack. There's lots of options. A pocket pillow is really easy because there's not much. I'm just gonna put a seam down each of these ends and then I'm gonna sew around the two other edges and it's done. So here is the finished pillow cover. I just need to do a little bit of ironing, but other than that, it's done. I'm just gonna put my pillow insert in it. I actually like the down pillows that Ikea carries. I think they're six bucks an insert, which is an amazing price. And I like that because you can karate chop them and they just give that beautiful V shape in the pillow. Now I'm gonna decorate my end tables. I'm using this natural wood face that I have, this sprig that I've had for a couple years now. It's $5, you can find it at Hobby Lobby. And then I'm gonna start layering in a couple pumpkins because fall is nothing without pumpkins. And I've got a few from Dollar Tree. This velvet one is from there, as well as the copper ceramic one I'm gonna set there on the table. And here I'm gonna use the same floral sprig, but I'm gonna add these pumpkin sprig that I got from Hobby Lobby as well this year. And I just like the nice creamy velvety pumpkins that are on there. Just gonna layer in a couple other pumpkins. And now this pumpkin, I am actually going to do a little DIY on and I've actually partnered with Cricut today. And I'm gonna share with you guys a couple different ways that you can update and change up your decor using Cricut. So with Cricut Design, you can just go into the Design Center and you can do this on your uh, tablet or on your desktop and you can just type out the lettering that you want, change the font, and then if you unlock the button on the left in the blue, you can stretch it and make it however large or tall you want it, which is definitely key here. And then you can go into the photos and you can shop basically their photo stock photos and I'm just gonna start pulling a couple of things through there. And again, I'm going to unlock it so I can change the size of it and place that in there. 
and now it's pretty much ready to go. Attaching it will keep the letters all in one spot. It won't move it. I um, placed my um, premium Cricut vinyl on the Cricut mat for cutting and then I really like the fact that it has the two tabs here on the left and the right of the mat to keep it in line. It doesn't squiggle or anything and it keeps everything in place which is really really nice and so when you're gonna weed out the um, the vinyl you want to make sure you use the scraper tool but basically it varnishes the uh, letters on there and then you can pull the rest off and then I'm just gonna use my little weeding tool to pick out all the little small pieces and Cricut has so many amazing items and with the Cricut maker you can cut so many different materials with it from vinyl to basswood, fabric, cardstock, really thin paper. It's really versatile and I like the fact that I can use it for various projects, whether you're scrapbooking or making something like I am for my decor, it works really, really well. So now I'm using the Cricut transfer paper and I'm going to press it onto my lettering and then I'm gonna use my scraper tool and again, varnish the, all those letters on there so it sticks really, really well. And then I'm gonna pull that off at a diagonal and see how that pulls off. And if there's anything left over, you can just use your little weeding tool and weed that off. Um, but I love how easy this is to use. I am, feel like I've just upgraded in life because I finally got one. But now I'm gonna actually attach this to my pumpkin. Now I will say you wanna make sure that you clean your product really well. I should have used like a rubbing alcohol on it to get off any like oils from my hands and just from it being stored. Um, so when you pull off your, um, your transfer paper, you wanna make sure you pull down at an angle and that just allows for easy removal of the contact paper. But look how cute the pumpkin turned out. You can really personalize anything of decor with it. You can deboss, you can engrave, you can draw with the Cricut Mirror. There are so many endless possibilities. I am so excited that I have one now that I can do different DIY projects with, which you guys know I absolutely love to do. If you can't tell, I'm totally in love with the pillow and how soft it is, but pillows are the easiest way that you can update a space for any season. It's extremely low cost and it just changes the whole look. So this is a Christmas pillow that I had and I used my Cricut maker to put Hello Autumn on it and I actually doing an iron on vinyl for this one. So when you do an iron on vinyl, you want to make sure you mirror the image when it cuts it. That way when you flip it over onto your pillow, it'll actually read correctly and then when you go to your cut settings, you just want to make sure you pick the right product which is the iron on vinyl. I will have my designs that I created down in the description box below along with the Cricut Maker and all the tools I'm using. That way you guys can pick it up and make some really beautiful pieces for your home. You can make gifts for people for Christmas time and personalize pretty much anything. I love this. I can't wait to make some t-shirts for the boys as well as some really beautiful decor signs for the home. I really like Cricut because you have two options. You can weed out the extra um, vinyl or you could just weed out the letters and paint on your design as well. So there's lots of different options when you use Cricut and you can make so many different things. So now to transfer that iron-on vinyl to my fabric, I'm going to be using the Cricut Easy Press 2 and you're going to want to remove that moisture and heat up that fabric for 5 seconds. And I'm doing it in two parts because my pillow is extra long here. Then you're going to peel off your design and you are going to center it and then you will flip over your design and you'll want to make sure you remove the stuffing out of your pillow. Put down a Cricut mat or a towel and I'm going to put the Easy Press on at 340 degrees and hold it there for 30 seconds. When you hit the little green C, it does the countdown for you. And if you go to Cricut site, it will tell you what heat temperature you need for specific fabric that you're using. So once you're done with the front side, you're going to flip it over and hold it for 15 seconds on the back side. And then you're going to let your project cool down completely before you remove the uh, plastic part of the vinyl. And you're going to pull it off at an angle, of course, nice and slowly, and it's done. Doesn't this look like we bought it from the store? It's so high-end looking and you guys know I like getting the look for less. You can sell them, you can give them away as Christmas gifts, and you can customize it for each season of your home. I'm so excited that I got to partner with Cricut to share some fall ideas with you all. Look how pretty this hops bush wreath is. Oh my goodness, I just love the coloring on it. It's so pretty. 
I wish that the stems that they had were the same coloring, but they're not. I picked them up and I was like, they don't match. So that's why I didn't add them to the, um, to the bases, but I could not pass this up. I saw this last year. I don't think this is new. I think they had this last year, if I, don't, if I remember correctly. And I was like, oh, I really want that. And I was like, no, no. I got it this year because I just think it's so pretty and I think it really looks nice with the kind of burnt orange um, pillows and that like rusty brown color. I don't know, I just really like it, so. this but I was also thinking maybe adding that one in there to contrast with it. I don't know it kind of feels a little too full but at the same time I really like it. So last year I bought these stems and I forgot I had them. <laughs> I went out in my fall bin and I was like I thought I had something similar and they're way um, better of a color. They're just richer and I like all the rust colors and the natural wheat color in here. These are so pretty. Um, they have just a plain version of it this year. I'll see if I can find these online for you. If I can't, I'll link them for you and everything. But I think I'm gonna add this to the bases and I think it'll just add that little extra pop of color that I want for fall. That's much better. I could not be happier with the traditional fall colors I decided to go with for the entryway. I originally thought I was going to do pops of blue in here, but I got taken away by this fabric at Joann's and I could not be happier with the way it just completely transformed the space. So warm and inviting and it's a good mix I feel like for fall. So I am so happy I got to share with you guys ways you could update your space, taking old items like the pillow, Christmas pillow and the pumpkin and updating them for a different season so it's multi-purpose. Simple little things can really make a big impact in your home and I hope you guys got lots of ideas from today's video. Let me know what you all think of the space, if I need to take away or add anything. I love hearing your guys' feedback. Of course, I will try to have everything I can linked in the description box below for you, as well as other DIY videos. Again, thank you to Cricut for partnering with me today's video. I'm so excited to get to share with you how I was able to transform my space using the machine and everything. I do have a giveaway going on, so make sure you look at the description box below for more information on that. But I hope you all have an amazing day. Thank you so much for being here. Give this video a big thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe so you don't miss out on any more fall DIY and decorating videos here to come.